Hampshire primary now less than four days away. You can see the countdown here. Three days, 13 hours. Voters now really zeroing in on who they'll cast their ballot for. WBZ's Christina Rex is live in Goffstown tonight. Christina, you've been speaking to a lot of voters I know, and it seems like many of them are divided about which their favorite candidate is. Yeah, David, a lot of work still to be done. So we're here at St. Anselm College where there should have been a debate last night, but there wasn't because neither Donald Trump nor Nikki Haley wanted to participate. So voters didn't get to see that. And they tell me they have a lot of research to do over the weekend to still make a decision for Tuesday. Four days until the New Hampshire primary, and some Granite Staters still have a big decision to make. Do you know who you're voting for? I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I'm jaded. I feel like a lot of the candidates aren't really worth voting for. Their uncertainty demonstrates a lack of enthusiasm overall, and voters we interviewed at random were all over the political map. I can. I'm voting for Trump. Okay. And many people that I know are also going to do the same. My most likely vote would be for Robert Kennedy Jr. But I'm not decided. I'm leaning towards Nikki, but not 100% sure. One name not mentioned Ron DeSantis, who's making a final push, meeting us one on one as New Hampshire polls predict a poor performance. Well, then I'm, I'm your guy. I mean, I think, look, Republicans, we need to win. The Florida governor has straddled time this week between New Hampshire and South Carolina, and he tells me he's tried to meet voters this week while other candidates refuse to debate. That's not, I think, the way that, that these things should be done. I think that candidates should get out there, defend their record, and articulate their vision. His rival for second place, Nikki Haley, has also been in New Hampshire all week. The fact that Donald Trump's lying. And Trump is attacking Haley in interviews. They're going to vote for her because they don't want to run against me. They want to run against her. So where does that leave DeSantis? Taking more questions this week than all the other candidates combined. They're running basement campaign. They wouldn't. So that's not totally true. All three candidates do have events in New Hampshire tonight, one in Concord, one in Manchester, one in Nashua. Nikki Haley and Donald Trump will be here all weekend. Ron DeSantis is flying back to South Carolina in the morning. He tells me he'll return here on Sunday. Now, coming up at 6, new endorsements are coming in, who they're for and how they could shake up the election. That's coming up at 6 for now. Live in Goffstown, Christina Rex, WBZ News. There will be a lot of shaking of hands this weekend. Christina, thank you.